The high risk period for regrowth of the tumor is in the first 18 months or so after treatment. Obviously these are patients where there's microscopic cancer cells remaining in the rectal wall or in the lymph nodes and during that first 18 months to two years uh, most uh, people practicing uh, watch and wait are examining patients at three to four month intervals and that would include getting uh, having the patient come in, doing a digital exam, looking in with a flexible fiber optic uh, uh, sigmoidoscope, carefully uh, examining the rectum, looking at the tumor bed, the scar that may be remaining there. And this clinical examination is supplemented by um, some kind of cross-sectional imaging and the uh, Pretty much uh, uniform consensus is that um, high quality, high resolution MRI is probably the best technique for uh, monitoring the rectum and the surrounding lymph nodes. And certainly the lymph nodes require cross-sectional imaging for monitoring. It's not, lymph nodes are not easily assessed uh, by physical exam. And MRI scans are done anywhere from three to six month intervals during those first couple of years. After the two year period, then most people uh, the risk of local regrowth drops off considerably. Uh, most centers are then examining patients at six month intervals. And it's very rare, there's not much data about beyond five years of follow up, but currently the feeling is if patients appear to be cured at five years, they're encouraged to continue to come in on a yearly basis, at least to be examined uh, by digital exam and by um, sigmoidoscopy on a yearly basis for the rest of their life as long as they remain healthy.